This is Season 3, Episode 7 of my series on the Boxwood Lathe and other related projects. Recorded in February 2020. And I've talked before about uh, spinning copper, so I won't go into that in detail, but I'd just like to briefly mention that I use a slightly different technique to spin the top and bottom of a new cylindrical boiler for the Hero steam engine. Uh, I had to give up on doing completely spherical objects because I couldn't get the copper to wrap into a hemisphere. I did have managed to spin a lip on the edge of these to wrap around the edge of the uh, vertical walls on a cylindrical tank. Um, and to achieve this I annealed the copper. Well I'm going to anneal some copper discs here. In fact I've done all of them except for one so I've got one left to show you. It's particularly thick copper actually. And we'll just turn on the propane gas here. Going. Can't see it in this light. Should have done this at night. I've got one remaining disc that I want to spin. It's pretty thick copper this one. So what happens when it gets hot is the atoms get randomized and lose their structure, crystalline structure, and that makes it much weaker and softer. They call it annealing, making it soft. And normally it's, it's brought to cherry red and dumped in cold water was the way I was taught. Um, but uh, this isn't quite getting to cherry red. You'll leave, notice them change some pretty interesting colors and eventually it turns black and then I'll spray it with water to cool it down. It's going a coppery, sort of an orangey color. Now it's changing all colors of the rainbow as it forms up. And blue and purple descending across it. A slight breeze on it. It's heating a little unevenly but that won't matter. And now it's starting to turn black. And eventually, it's like one of these discs here. No, even after pulling down, they're still black. I'm not going to pinch it tightly because it's very soft. Transfer it onto the wood. Turn the flame off, I think. And it's burning the wood, so it's pretty hot. Probably should have dunked this one into the bucket of water because it's taking quite a while to pull it down. I've got six of these nine inch discs and uh, seven of the smaller uh, five inch discs on there. They're all lined up there on the boards. The first step in spinning the copper is to uh, turn a piece of wood uh, as a pattern or buck they call it sometimes and you can see here how I've made a steady for setting uh, my wood chisels on. You may also see on this image the uh, little pin that I've put in this very center. Uh, the boiler is going to have to have holes in the top and bottom at the center anyway and for safety reasons I've drilled a hole in the flat sheet before putting it on the lathes of spinning and this peg will stop it from flying off. So here's the finished product but no sooner than I'd finished that and I drilled holes all over it for placing tubes through the middle of this boiler rather like a locomotive. <laughs> 